Hello, this is my mommy's post and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about your body changes through pregnancy. So let's get started. Today I'm just going to talk about your body changes through pregnancy and what to expect. So these are the things that we do not talk about. Perhaps you have read about it. The doctors will vaguely cover what what happens as far as body changes, but in my experience, my doctors did not go into depth and de detail as far as the little things that are going to change within my body. So as a first time mom, when I first learned th that I was pregnant, your body uh, just goes under changes. And you will have these hormones um, in your body and these are the, the hormones that perhaps determine the changes in your body. So when I first found out I was pregnant, I realized that prior to taking the pregnancy test, I found that my body was shifting and changing. So what that means is I did not feel like myself. So I guess the hormones were shifting my body and making me feel different. I remember feeling my, my breasts look fuller. I was gaining a little weight. I felt good. I just felt a little, little shift in my body, but I did not understand what was going on. After I took out the pregnancy test, I felt achy i felt uh like i had perhaps the flu because my muscles were sore i was just sore i was lethargic could not do certain things i could not stand for long periods of times and i just felt lethargic and i was sick for about a week in that state and just kind of trying to figure out my body and kind of pushing through that i was still working so i was still like you know working and then trying to push through this um, what I called like a sickness and that, like that's just the feeling that you feel like you're sick So then your body starts to bloat your belly starts to bloat you then um, Your sense of smell heightens so then you are sensitive to smell and that is also triggered from the hormone and, and you start smelling things That you've never thought you could smell <laughs> like smelling people's scalp like that was the weirdest thing um, and so that smell will trigger your nausea and um, will make you throw up for me i did not really show i did carry small so my belly i felt i looked like i was bloated until until i hit my second trimester my third trimester is when i was visibly showing but uh, up until then i was i just looked like i had a little fupa nothing crazy uh, if i wore like an oversized sweater people did not expect that i was pregnant so so but then you start dealing with what what it's called cramping um, because that's from dehydration. So you get cramping from dehydration and it almost feels like you have like period pains and it's something that we are used to. So that is from dehydration. So obviously hydrate yourself. So you feel like cramping, You then you start getting the morning sickness and then your pelvic starts to widen. So in that transition, your pelvic is widening so that it's, it's ready to carry your baby and hold your baby. So in that process, your pel while your pelvic is um, widening um, that is also painful so you will feel muscle pain you will feel pain um, in, your, in your lower back in your legs it's just very painful almost feels like you worked out and you it, it's that you worked out all day and then the next day when you wake up sore that's kind of what it feels like um, for me as a first time mom I did not expect that so I remember going to my my OBGYN appointments and letting them know like hey I, I don't know why I feel so sore like I've been working out and the OBGYN just left at me and said well that's very common because your body's changing your you know the hormones are relaxing your muscles and then your pelvic is widening so that also contributes to the pain um, then you have restless leg syndrome it's very common it happened with me I did not expect it either it happened around my second uh, trimester and I wake up from the pain i remember the first time it happened i um, was crying from the pain because i did not expect it um it just it's so painful your leg kind of locks up flax it and then it just kind of goes away but then you start dealing with this restless leg syndrome so i just purchased um compression socks and that helped me through the night but that's something uh, I think that maybe people don't talk about, but I experienced that and I was like, oh my God, this is painful. And it was painful. I 
cry. I know some women get swollen feet. Your feet do grow. I mine didn't weren't visibly swollen, but they were they did not fit my my shoe. So I had to buy a shoe. So I'm eight and a half, so I had to buy uh, a nine. Uh, size shoe. I was pregnant mostly in the summer, so I was wearing like flip flops. I really didn't care about the shoes because my feet my feet were open. But once it got into the winter, I had to buy wear my size nine shoes because your feet get swollen. But mine weren't visibly. But if your feet are visibly swollen, you have to tell your doctor. And that is linked to other problems with, during pregnancy. So make sure you tell your doctor right away if you see that your feet are swollen and let them know. And they usually check every appointment. Check during my appointments to see if my feet were swollen. So then you're dizzy. The dizziness is common too, but um, there's an extreme dizziness. I was dizzy. I did not know why I was extremely dizzy um, until my second trimester and the doctors took some blood work and found out I was anemic. So um, the low iron uh, contributed to that. Um, after I started taking my iron pills, it went away, but it didn't completely go away, but it did go away just for a little bit. Your spine starts to curve. You'll start seeing the curvature of your spine in your second trimester because your body's just preparing itself to carry the baby. And that is also something I I did not know my ba my back just started to arch so I couldn't naturally arch my belly in and I was kind of a weird feeling but uh, it's definitely part of the pregnancy but you know just be mindful of that your body will your spine will curve but it's a, it's a gradual process if that makes sense and then you'll have uh, darkening in your skin so your skin will start you'll start seeing spots that all get darker As some women get it on their face it's you know like a mask almost I'll start let's start right over here I got my dark spots under my arms so I remember um, just taking a shower one day and looking under my arms and I'm like oh my goodness what is that and and just kind of um, figured out it was part of the pregnancy nobody really told me I guess I didn't read it I wasn't really in forums but once I, I I did more research I found out that it is common for women to get spots under their arms so I said lucky for me because I was really concerned that it was going to be on my face I mean it's not the end of the world if it did come on my face but it was weird that it was under my arms and I did not know that under the arms was one the options. You also get the line that goes down your belly, gets darkened as you go through um, your your pregnancy. And definitely I did get that. So these dark, the dark spots that come on during your pregnancy will take a, a little while after you give birth to, for it to fade away. So it doesn't go away right away, right when you give birth, it'll take a while for you for them to just slowly, gradually, they'll just fade away. So you'll see those changes in your body. Your nipples will get sensitive. Your breasts obviously will grow. They will get tender. Um, some women do experience leaky breasts. I did not personally did not. So um, that is also very common too. You start obviously gain weight. Some women, they lose weight because of their appetite and the nausea. It just does not work out for them. Um, but in my, my case, I did uh, gain weight. Your uh, vagina lips will swell up. Um, that was that's something that I did not know. I was remembering as uh, I was going through my pregnancy and looking down and going like, "What's going on here?" Like I did not expect it to look like that, and I almost was freaking out because I was like, "Okay, is this what it's going to look like for the rest of my life?" <laughs> and um, I just didn't know how to ask, like I didn't know how to tell anybody or my doctor. I just kind of like kept it to myself and I was like really concerned because I was like, okay, well, this is how it's going to look like. I guess this is part of motherhood, um, but it definitely went away after, after giving birth. So if you are experiencing this for the first time and maybe your vagina lips are swollen and you are concerned, it will go away. I guess it's probably your body just preparing yourself to give birth it's probably a best way um, it's just you know your blood vessels everything is pumping to that part of you know, that region of your body and to the placenta and to the baby so I'm assuming that's part of the blood rushing into in through your body so um, with that you will get it's called mommy brain uh, that is very real I you know people talk about it people just kind of throw it loosely um, I thought it was more like 
oh, you know, I just like a fib or something like that, but it is a real thing. Like when it, I remember when it first happened with me, I'm, I'm the type where I create lists in my head. I'm a visual learner, so I will go ahead and create lists and tasks in my head and then you know and that's how I go about my day or while I was working that's how I got things done I never wrote things down I just kind of let the lists I created it in my head so I remember the first time that happened to me I went and I did my natural like okay this is what I gotta do and the day went by I forgot to do some of these things on my on my list and I was thinking like it completely it was like at the end of the day and I, it like completely erases out of your brain like it's it doesn't even exist in your brain until somebody brings it up and it for me that was the scariest thing because i was like oh my god like i am so used to just going down the list check it off mentally but in reality when it was happening it was like not even on my list and that was so it freaked me out um it happens because the hormones are in your brain and they are pretty much hijacking your brain and that causes the mommy brain um i don't know the exact details into why your brain reacts that way um i know it's just the hormones inter intervening and creating that mommy brain you will completely forget things you will um just your brain will just at, retain less information um you have a shorter span attention span um that also carries out after you give birth too so it's something that is it's not as bad as you as it is during pregnancy but after birth it does also it still happens it's almost like your brain trying to just refresh itself after after birth but during pregnancy it's completely shut off so it's it's amazing but it's also dangerous too at the same time i don't know how to explain it and you have great hair growth and nail growth and that comes with from your prenatal vitamins i mean your hair will look so good so thick, so healthy, no hair loss. Your nails will look really strong, really good. I mean, just you will look great. Um, but that won't last because after you give birth, your hair will fall out. I mean, crazy amount. Um, and I was reading also the reason why it seems like your hair is just continuously falling after you give birth is because during pregnancy at the nine month span, you're growing a lot of hair. So it is shedding that hair. I experienced that. Um, it's actually, it was really sad because I, I was like going, I'm still recovering. I'm like still have bald spots. Um, my baby hairs are growing out now. Um, I know I spoke to a lot of moms on my social medias and they're also experiencing the same thing, but it is uh, okay. Uh, it's hard. I know sometimes it's hard for moms to go through these things, especially after birth, especially if we are dealing with postpartum depression, especially if we're dealing with postpartum anxiety. Um, if we have anything going on in our personal life that might make uh, the situation worse, it is very devastating to see that uh, i lost a lot of hair and to me i've always had the care so it was something that was just hard to see uh just just experience and go through but i am right now 13 months postpartum and there is a light at the end of the tunnel it will get better but it will be uh quite tragic during the process so during your pregnancy your hair will look good postpartum it will just not be the same but it will get better you will have slight vision loss as well so during pregnancy it's very common for women to have vision loss but but it's not severe so if it is severe that is also a condition telling of your pregnancy so please let your doctor know and they will help you out and navigate you through that process. Um, but it is common to have slight vision loss. I'm assuming it's from the hormones again that happened to me. Um, and it just goes away after you give birth. You will uh, see discharge. There's different types of discharge that happens from your vagina. Um, there's certain ones that you should be concerned. So like if it has blood or if it's brown or anything like that, you, you obviously you have to let your doctor know right away. However, you will see uh, excessive discharge just normal you know your normal white discharge that's very common um, and I feel like that's just the way your body's just protecting itself from, from harming your baby or having any bacteria 
intervene into the uterus. You also will experience a slight carpal tunnel. Some women have it severe, some women don't. I did, um, but it's not as severe as other women. I did talk to other women and they, they did share their experience with me about how they dealt with um, carpal tunnel. Some of them had to get surgery, some of them just wore the brace. I didn't have to do either, but I, you can feel um, the pain, the numbness in your finger, but it goes away after you give birth and that's just a common uh, symptom in pregnancy. It happened during my third trimester, so I'm assuming it's part of the muscle relaxing part of your body. So you just experience you know, the fatigueness and all of that combined as you are going through your trimesters and into your pregnancy and see towards giving birth. So these are the body changes that I feel like are not something that we talk about necessarily. Maybe our doctors do not bring up or they don't talk about because um, these are the things that I had to go through experience pregnancy in order for me to figure out what's happening in these changes in my body. So I kind of had to go through the process of pregnancy in order for me to figure out these symptoms or these changes into my body through pregnancy. Uh, they were not discussed. If I asked my OBGYN, they would give me more information. Um, if I did not ask, they would not give me any information. And that's just my personal experience. I know everybody's body is different. Everybody's pregnancy is different. Everybody's experience with their OBGYN is different. So I am just here to um, educate and give my personal progress on how I went through my pregnancy as a first-time mom. So please let me know how this video helped you. Like and subscribe.